Hi Scorpio, welcome to your August love reading. I hope you guys are all doing great out there. Welcome to my channel, Baddison Intuitive Tarot. Now in today's read, I'm gonna see who comes through for you in love, get their true feelings, their intentions, their actions, and also see if there's any challenges that could be creating some delays for you guys moving forward. After I lay out my spread, I will then clarify and then pull a hidden message at the end. So let's begin. Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio love today, August 2022, please? Scorpio, love, August 2022, what is their message? Scorpio, what's going on with them in love for August 2022? Who are they connecting to and what's the situation? Scorpio, Scorpio, seven card spread please. Scorpio, Scorpio, love, one more shuffle. Let's rock this deck for my awesome Scorpios. We have the Seven of Wands, that's Leo energy coming through. The Chariot, Major Conifer for Cancer. The Five of Pentacles, Taurus energy, but also Virgo. The Knight of Cups, Pisces energy, but also Cancer. The Hermit, Major Conifer for Virgo. Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands as your outcome. Someone wants to talk to you. Overall energy on the bottom, the Sun, Major Arcana for Leo. Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, yeah man, someone wants to talk to you, there's something going on. For a lot of you, this is a brand new person coming into your life and they're getting the courage to come towards you to tell you how they truly feel. Because the Knight of Cups to the Seven of Wands is the energy of, all right, now is the time I need to tell Scorpio how I truly, truly feel. Don't chicken out this time. Just let Scorpio know that you are falling in love with them. Simple as that. It's like this person is trying to gather up the, the cojones to tell you that they have feelings for you. All right. But for others, for others, there's a situation where you and another person may have gone through a challenge recently where you both are ignoring this relationship. But looking at this artwork, it shows a key left on the door and a door creaked open just a little bit. As to say, whoever this person is to you, Scorpio, they may have left the scene, but they left the key there for you if you want to get up and open the door and follow fall through the path okay or that's vice versa someone doesn't want this to continue being a thing where you guys are ignoring each other if that's happening now with that hermit to the ten of pentacles I feel like someone is really trying to figure out what role you play in their life in the long term. Someone's taking you very seriously because when you have the Ten of Pentacles, you have a situation where someone feels like you would blend in nicely with their family, where their friends will love you, their family. This is my backyard barbecue card, all right? Will Scorpio, you know, adapt with my family or you're feeling that way about this person because someone really values family, okay? So I, I've got someone here that's seeing you as a long-term relationship and they're scared to open up to you. And for others, you guys were already in a relationship and you guys reached some sort of snag where you guys are not talking to each other, but the outcome is the Eight of Wands. The outcome is communication that allows you to move forward in a fast direction, okay? I don't know if you guys are at a distance from each other with you know, the Chariot and the Eight of Wands or someone is just, feeling like they have to be emotionally distant at this time to figure something out. But with the overall energy being the, the sun, that's the happiest card in the deck, followed by the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords, tells me that there is a brand new beginning for you, Scorpio, where you're gonna feel so happy, so excited, and following your truth, okay? Following your truth. I just need to clarify more to figure out more about why that Five of Pentacles is there, okay, along with the Seven of Wands and Knight of Cups. So let's do this. All right, Scorpio. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you would like to book a private reading, Scorpio, the link to my website can be found in the description box below this video. Please tell me why that Five of Pentacles is here, Spirit. Whoa. The Eight of Pentacles and the Sun. I feel like someone is wanting to make the effort towards this relationship and give it um, a very uh, strong chance at 
going the distance, but right now they're feeling like something is not working out in their favor. You could be connecting with a Leo or a Taurus. Ten of Swords. Some of you guys actually went through a breakup with somebody and it's been time um, since you guys have last saw each other to the point where the grass is now getting fully grown by that grave site where someone's like, all right, are we ready to talk now? Are we ready to see if this is something that we can revisit and have a brand new beginning? All right. And for others, um, you've got someone here that may have recently came out of a relationship or needed to make a choice and get courage to come towards the one that they want to be with Knight of Cups. So you might have someone here that needed to make a choice between two people. Now I don't see the three of swords, so I'm not gonna jump to a third party situation just yet until I get more, more concrete evidence of that, but I am getting the vibe that someone needed to make a choice and now they're getting the courage to come forward. Okay, they needed to have a little time for themselves to figure it out. Can I get a card on that seven of wands, please? Now the seven of wands is all about standing true to what you want. You know, showcasing your convictions, showing how strong you are, going after what you want, not backing down. What is the Seven of Wands, please? The Magician, which is all about creation, manifesting what your dreams into reality, feeling the confidence, feeling like you've got all the tools needed to have what you want in regards to love, since this is a love reading. Could be a Gemini that you're connecting to or a Virgo. But someone wants to talk to you, Scorpio, because the ma magician card is ruled by Mercury, which is the planet of communication. Okay, so someone wants to get the courage to communicate what they want with you, what they desire, what they want to manifest. Three cups, look at that. So some of you guys either have a reunion coming in who's scared right now about reaching out in fear of you blocking them. And then I have another group that has someone here that's, you know, getting the courage to either make a solid decision to open up their feelings for you so that you guys can date. Okay. Can I get a card in that Knight of Cups? Can I get a card in that Knight of Cups? Someone might be planning some sort of romantic evening with you or a confession. Because I'm seeing this Freddie Prince Jr. looking dude, you know, packing up a nice picnic, has some roses, wanting to really be charming and set the mood before they let those confessions come out. It feels like a, a confession coming in big time. Could be another water sign, because I'm getting a lot of watery energy here and a lot of fiery energy. Why the Knight of Cups? The moon, someone's been keeping their feelings hidden, okay? But this person's falling in love with you if they're not already madly in love with you. Now, I look for the Queen and King of Cups for when I want to see if someone's got a lot of unconditional love for somebody. So since I got the Knight of Cups, I feel like this person's falling in love, but not quite like in that unconditional love stage where, you know, it's just, this is someone that's like, Oh man, I, I, I can't stop thinking about Scorpio. I'm, and, you know, fantasizing about you and things like that. But it's not to the point where you guys have been like together for like 10 years is what I feel. And I do have the Five of Pentacles. So some of you guys may have ignored this person's text and that's why they're scared to come forward and tell you how they feel because maybe they're reading the room a little bit differently. Maybe they feel like you are just like over them or not even interested in them like that. For some, this person may feel like they're getting like mixed signals from you, Five of Swords, where they feel like something is not working out favorably. Yeah, I'm getting communication as a big issue here between the two of you guys. Whether someone doesn't open up about how they feel um, at the time that you guys should open up about certain things and it ends up, you know, creating more challenges for you guys. Like someone just does not tell you how they feel or vice versa. Can I get a card on that chariot? Can I please get a card on that chariot? The Five of Swords. There may have been some sort of... Um, argument or disagreement between the two of you guys where someone didn't wait around to resolve the issue and just took the hell off. You know, it's kind of like having a fight, slamming the cabinet door and then hopping in your car and just leaving, leaving things un, you know, unresolved. So some of you Scorpios might have someone you argued with, whether they were to blame or not, doesn't matter in this situation, I feel like it takes two. And someone just hopped up and hopped into their car and just took off from the scene and didn't resolve the issue or just ignored someone's phone calls moving forward. It's like a very like, you know, know what, I'm out of here type of vibe I'm getting off of this. 
all right? So if they were the ones that did that to you, now you're ignoring their messages because you feel like that was disrespectful to just walk away from an argument without trying to resolve things. And for others, You've got someone here that wants to date you, but there may be some sort of misunderstanding, whether there's other people in the mix or um, this person feels like you're sending them mixed signals, which is leaving them feeling anxious about opening up to you. What is this hermit all about? 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 The Wheel of Fortune. All right, so this is someone that is um, destined to be in your life for a reason, okay? A lot of zodiac signs have been getting this. Sagittarius got it, Capricorn got it, Pisces got it, Leo got it. Uh, it it's telling me that you guys are going through some sort of karmic lesson and you're meant to clear that karma out to have a new beginning perhaps, okay? Oftentimes when I see the Wheel of Fortune, it tells me that two people have had a past life connection together and that's where the karma carried over to this lifetime all right when you look at the original rider no not the right away there's few wheel of fortune cards that will show you the head of a serpent eating his own tail in a circular foundation or rotation and it signifies something coming back around a death and a rebirth regeneration okay so something's coming back around why is that ten of pentacles here why is that ten of pentacles here why is that ten of pentacles here Three of Swords. Someone feels heartbroken about uh, a potential relationship, whether there was a third party in the mix, or someone's um, someone is not allowing the connection to move forward, not making a decision, or something unexpectedly happened between you and another person that left you both feeling like, all right, where is this going now? Is this going to go anywhere? I thought we were doing great. I thought we were making, you know, memories together. I thought we were building a life together. What happened? Okay. The Emperor on the bottom. So someone was taking this connection very seriously. Why is that Eight of Wands the potential outcome, please? Why the Eight of Wands? Six of Pentacles. So I do see a lot of communication that's going to really bring back the balance and repair things with the Justice card, Libra Energy. All right, I think someone needs to see something in a different perspective. Someone's not seeing both sides of the situation to make a, uh, a strong decision on what they want. Yeah, Temperance, look at that. And then the Eight of Wands again. I feel like you and another person are needing to like figure out what you both want and blend your ideas together so that way there's some sort of compromise moving forward and you both are getting what you want. What is the Sun card about? What the Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords? What is the Sun card about? What is the Sun card about? The Eight of Cups. Someone walked away and is coming in for a new start. Four of Wands, Eight of Swords, the Chariot. Five of Wands, yeah, there was some sort of conflict that took place between you and another person, but someone's seeing clearer now about what's going on and is going to make an attempt to reestablish something or to reignite the passion or to, you know, confess their true feelings if communication about feelings have been what's been hurting you guys. So let me get a hit of message. For zodiac signs, I got Leo here, I've got Pisces, I have Cancer, I have Taurus. Everywhere I go, I look around as if you'll magically be there. I have awakened to our connection. I know we have a timeless bond between us. Being apart from you has been more difficult than I can accept. So Scorpio, you have someone here that really cares about you, wants, wants you to have a future with them, but they feel like right now something may have gone on that is like leaving them feeling less confident that something's going to work out, but someone's trying to come forward and communicate. All right, so I hope this reading helped. If it did, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like to book a private reading, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. Later, Scorpio.